We continue to follow developments in the ongoing coronavirus outbreak. Yeah, as of this afternoon, there are nearly 72,000 cases with more than 1,700 deaths, still mainly concentrated in China. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with some other developments. Doc? Yeah, Kim and Devin, in fact, today, Japanese officials officially canceled mass participation in the Tokyo Marathon set to take place on March 1st. So instead of the previous 38,000 entrants, only 176 elite level runners and 30 wheelchair participants will be participating. Now, this comes after one case of COVID-19 was identified in the city of Tokyo. Meanwhile, the saga of the Diamond Princess continues. 14 of the more than 300 Americans evacuated from the Diamond Princess via chartered planes to the U.S. have now tested positive for the novel coronavirus, according to the State Department. Those infected spending the 12-hour flights in isolation chambers on board, landing overnight at Air Force bases in California and Texas. 13 have been transported directly to the University of Nebraska Medical Center in Omaha. These individuals uh, were brought here because we have the personnel. We have the facilities, we have the resources and the expertise to handle these kind of individuals. The other American evacuees will spend at least 14 more days in quarantine. The World Health Organization announced today that according to data from China, the spread of COVID-19 continues to slow in that country. It's too early to tell if this reported decline will continue. Every scenario is still on the table. Scenarios causing concern around the globe as medical experts worldwide work to contain the outbreak. Now, the director general of the World Health Organization also noted today that COVID-19 appears to cause more serious illness in older people and relatively few cases among children. And they are calling for more research to really better understand the reasons for that. Yeah. Seems bizarre that we cancel the marathon when there's one case one. in the whole city of Tokyo. Well, they, they basically cannot say that it is not it is there. Not, yes. That's the issue. Um, I know you've also got an update on the Metro Detroiters who've been stuck overseas. Yeah, in particular, one of them, Steve Muth, he's from Lenawee County. He was on the Wester Dam. That's the ship that ended up in Cambodia after being turned away from several other ports. Unfortunately, before he was cleared, an 83 year old American tested positive, and now he's among 601 passengers being held up in Cambodia pending further evaluation. You're going to hear from him ahead on Local 4 News at 6. What an ordeal. Yeah. 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 All right. Thanks, Doc. Mm -hmm.